I'm Linus and we're at backstage at Antonio Maras. My look is a cool jacket layered with a, another jacket and a shirt and a skinny trousers with green leather shoes. Antonio Maras is a, a very cool designer because I like all his patterns on those stuff and the jackets most of all. I'm a college boy, I think, just wearing a white flower uh, with a blazer, kind to go to school. It's really classic, but nice too. And the jacket, because you know we are in winter, so it's better to be warm. The whole motive of the show, I feel like, is a little bit like hunting. And uh, personally, I don't know, I feel like in a movie, like, uh, like a gangster in a movie or something. To be honest, I just like him as a person as well. He has a nice personality. It's not just his clothes, but he as a person is a really nice one. My name is Daniele Molino and we are here in the backstage of Antonio Maras. They call me uh, Napoleone because uh, of the hat. I know very well uh, Maras, I am fond of his style and uh, for me what is impressive is his fancy. For example, uh, behind me there are two with pattern of nature, uh, winter, uh, spring, uh, incredible, incredible pattern on the fabric, incredible embroidery and kind of like this. It's very over but uh, in a very poetic way. Maras uh, it's uh, a sort of unicum uh, in the field because it doesn't follow also if it take care of the trend it doesn't follow the trends so it's uh, something uh, over the trends uh, it's a sort of artistic poetic uh, kind of making fashion. È stata l'occasione della mostra che c'è qui in Trennale che è stata inaugurata il 21 ottobre per eh, presentare quello che è il mio mondo. Questa volta io veramente faccio incontrare le mie due vere passioni, quella che è l'arte e la moda. E quindi il fondere le cose, perché credo che non ci siano limiti tra le varie discipline, l'arte, la danza, il cinema, il teatro. Questo è un, un esempio. Sono ragazzi, attori, ballerini. Lei è l'unica ballerina della Scala che fanno questo atto performativo molto, molto, molto forte. Lei è prigioniera di queste sedie, scappa e viene ripresa e ricondotta su queste sedie. I think that is is the kind of, you know, uh, it's Maras, his obsession, his aesthetic, uh, his roots. His ideas, the basic ideas of his poetic, I mean, it's, it's Maras. It's not only an art, but it's like a portrait of a creative figure. It's a portrait of a, of a man. I think it's a secret side of Antonio Maras, not just uh, uh, our fashion, but uh, our uh, philosophy, mentality, and uh, uh, emotion and love. Mm. 
we are used to see Antonio Mara's show mostly in unconventional way in, in Milan. But um, because he had this opportunity to make this exhibition uh, some months ago, I think he used all these uh, ideas to create the, the suggestion to make not more a catwalk, but really a, a human body uh, performance. This is a dialogue between fashion and art. I think it's part of that whole Italian tradition of the Transavanguardia, where theatrics and performance art meet close. Um, I think it's where the image speaks louder than anything. And it's, it's delightful to come to Italy and see a kind of idea of avant-garde couture fashion for men, which you don't get anywhere else in the world. I'm glad Antonio Maros decided to do this because this exhibition is wonderful, amazing, great, and it's all his life as a talent, as an artist, as a total artist. He's not just a fashion designer, he's not just a painter, he's not just a, I don't know, he can do anything. The collection is uh, really, really amazing and interesting, and I think that Antonio Maras today, with this uh, different kind of exhibition, because uh, we thought that was a show, but actually is a, a ex very amazing exhibition, uh, he did an amazing work uh, between art and, and fashion. <laughs> 